Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and in today's demonstration we're going to see if we can make a balloon fireproof. Now, since we're dealing with fire, it's always good and highly recommended, actually it's mandatory, that a competent adult supervise this demonstration. It's also good to wear safety goggles. Now, as you can see, that balloon popped several inches away from the candle. It also extinguished the fire. So, let's relight it. Now try this balloon. That one took a long time in comparison to the blue balloon to, to pop. Now what was the difference between the two? The difference was is that I had a couple of ounces of water in a white balloon. Now let's get a close up. So what's going on here? Why are the balloons that have water in them surviving the heat so much better than the balloon that had only air. Well, it has to do with the water's ability to absorb heat. The heat from the candle rapidly passes through the balloon and heats the water. As the water that is closest to the fire heats up, it begins to rise up. As it rises upward, cooler water replaces the hot water that was next to the flame. This cycle repeats itself until all the water is heated to a temperature that can no longer protect the thin skin of the balloon. Additionally, I kept checking for a black spot on the balloon. That black spot is a carbon deposit from the smoke of the flame. Checking for the carbon deposit helps to disperse the hot water into the cooler water. But give it enough time, all the water is going to heat up and the balloon is going to pop. Alright, we tried the candle, and so far this balloon has been resistant to the flame. So let's try a real test, a torch. And of course, when using a torch, you need not only adult supervision, but someone who can safely operate the torch. Now I've been handling tools for many years, and I not operate it safely. I'm not going to get burned. And I'm using a welder's glove made out of heavy-duty cowhide to hold the balloon in. So I'm going to be safe, along with the goggles. Whoa! 
didn't take long that time. Let's try more water this time. The first balloon that had water in it had about two ounces. I didn't use a graduated cylinder to measure the water, it's just an estimate. The second balloon had about three ounces. This one has about six. Let's see how it holds up to the torch. So, the more water that is in the balloon, the more protection the balloon has from the flame and the longer it is going to take for the balloon to pop. 